Okay, give me your heart. I'd like to eat that in my spare time. Ah, oh, let's save because I think I still got like three Dramoras to fight here. Ah, oh. but at the end of the day, that was awesome. Oh, I see like a hunger over there. That's what they've been calling it, right? A hunger? I think I fought one of these before. Forgot that he had magic. Okay, the Tremor didn't spawn, or no, there he is. He's hiding in the corner. I don't know why he's hiding in the corner, but he will die. Oh, great, you've got dragon skin. I didn't even need dragon skin for this. Down he goes, okay. Tremora Lord, so he's got, you know, the Claymore. Once again, not that great. I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Where is it? Is that just the regular Morrowind music? No. Where's the thing? Where do I fight the thing? Ugh. There. I did it. I don't know where the thing is that I'm supposed to be fighting. Oh, there he is. I see him. Fine, I shall get off my throne and kick your ass. I dubbed myself King of the Underworld. Why not? I've dubbed myself everything else. I'm not fighting you underwater. I keep on moving forward. I don't know why. Just hit him until he's dead. Alright. Got him. Short blades. Do not care about short blades. Lost my boots, damn it. Lost my boots. Okay. So that is the last one. And I do see a door over there. I'm kind of scared to go through it. I don't think I have much of an option here. I think since I came down this far, the Silica of Divine Whispers. That does not sound good at all. Doesn't sound good. Well, fuck. What happened to my resist magic? Okay, let's avoid that place. That, that That's no fun in there. I don't know if you guys know that, but... That's completely optional, and considering that they haven't given me anything that great down here so far, I don't imagine that they'd be giving me anything more. So I'm just gonna head back up and get my damn sword. So, unfortunately, I still have no boots. I don't think I have anything to repair either, because those weighed too damn much. So, no, I don't. Oh, that's gonna be awesome, though, when I enchant that. Uh, so, I will just meet you back at, um, the dude, Radic. I know I'm not saying that right, but damn it, it's Radic. <laughs> because I said so. Oh, that's where I went before. So I will meet you at him, because Radic reminds me of Raditz. Okay, be right back. Alright, we made it back. What is up, Radic? We got it. We got the tar. Alright, True Flame removed, Pyro Altar removed, True Flame returned. My bad looking blade, actually. Good luck to you, youngster. Now leave this old dwarf alone. Go! So, how, how does this look? Long blade went. Holy crap! Damage it. Fire damage 30. Fire, fire damage 30.1 foot. Yeah. Look at that! It's in slow motion, but still. What am I using? Slash! Nice. So, I still have no... Well, I have no boots, so I'm gonna go back to town. I'm gonna repair everything I got. I got this awesome new sword. And I will uh, meet you back when talk to Alma Alexia. Okay, so I have come back, got everything repaired. Actually bought a few more Grand Soul Gems because I put the rest in Satanine. But I didn't realize that there would be Golden Saints here, so um, before we do anything else, let's drop another quick save.
I looked it up. Um, Alexia! Everybody should be dying. If you guys would die, that'd be appreciated. Why am I still getting hurt here? Are you kidding me? I don't, I don't understand. Damn! Like, God mode doesn't mean every, uh, like, I should constantly live and never get hurt? What does God mode mean in this game? Oh my gosh, what the hell? How many of you can there be at once? Are you kidding me? No! I refuse to die! Okay. Um, Alexia! You must die. Apparently I can't kill her outright. I gotta do it the cheap way. Because, I don't, yeah, I don't know what she's got on her. And this, <laughs> this is what I want to know. Alright, down she goes with this character's death. The threat of po prophecy is severed. Restore a save game to restore. Yeah, uh, pretty much you can't kill her uh, or, the, or the game stops. But I got a request. <laughs> Therefore, I do what I want. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ugh, come on. What, what was the code for that one? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I went through all that. Fine, I'm going to do that again. And I will be right back when everything is dead. Okay, good lord, that was a tough-ass battle for being in god mode, let me tell you. Okay, so let's look at these hands. What do they got on them? Uh, long blade, pretty good. Frost damage, absorb strength, damage f strength, damage fatigue, uh, fortify agility. The standard, her hand stuff, the same stuff that everybody else had. He's got some restore health on her, on him. Uh, he's also got uh, her hand shield, which is nice, except, you know, I'm not going to be using any of this stuff. Resist paralysis, fortify attack, resist poison. I assume that that's standard across the board, what these guys have. Her ebony scimitar, so that's a little bit different, I think. Did you have the scimitar as well? Yeah, I think uh, I think they all have the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so they all have the same stuff. Um, Alexia, on the other hand, has one thing. She's got Hope's Fire. Long Blade, pretty much as good as True Flame. Actually, it's, a, it's even better. It's got shock damage on it, though. Uh, but that that is definitely all that she's got on her. Can't, I can't strip her any more than she's already naked, unfortunately. So there we go. There's the request. Uh, now uh, for me to, to, to go back to, to normal mode and all that kind of stuff. Okay, turned God mode off and all that kind of stuff. What may I do for you, my child? Have better equipment. Right, greetings. You were to forge the blade at Nerebar once again. I did it, and I'm using it. Blade is reforged. Hooray! Our time has almost arrived. There is but one obstacle that stands in our way. Close? Though it pains me to believe it is so. So facile. The one you do. What? I cannot count the times I have fought by the magician's side. This probably isn't good. It was he who stood with me the day I fought in Mornal and banished Nebrius Dagon to the depths of oblivion. Oblivion? Never heard of it. It was Sovacil who was able to delve the mysteries of Kagrimax's tools. Who? And raise me to my rightful station. You weren't always God. Now, though, the Tinker has become unstable. Sovacil. Do not concern yourself. <laughs> you kidding me? Fine, unstable. Once, so the Sil was like we are, the Lord Vivek and I. Okay. He spent time among these mortals, instructing them, counseling them, protecting them from harm. He may have loved them more than any of us. Right. Though I know not why. Yeah, mortals suck. 
It has been many years since any have seen the sorcerer, though. Many more since he took initiates into his service. I believe he grew weary of mortal imperfections and retired to his clockwork city, where he reshapes life what? and some say the very world into an image he finds pleasing. A giant naked lady? Uh, clockwork city? His land is as puzzling as the mind of the sorcerer himself. That doesn't sound good. Ever moving, ever changing. Its letters and gears responding to its master's will of love. It is here he performs the profane experiments, aided by his magic and tainted by his madness. Well, suddenly, if you don't like it, it's profane. I see how it is. His madness? I have suspected for some time that the Lord Sothasil had entered Sheikora's realm. I still don't know who that is. His visits have been more and more infrequent and punctuated by violent fits of anger. Okay. He began to speak of the fall of the tribunal and the return of the old gods. Zeus? But Sothasil is not a seer. He is a maker. Is that better? He shapes the here and the now, while only I have been privy to what is to come. I know this. He is no longer the man he once was. So she can see the future? This is... I mean, it's kind of been implied, but she's never outright said it. Man he once was! He is completely mad. It was his creations, these fabrics, that attacked my city. This once great man is now a danger to Mordor and to all of Mordor. He must be stopped. James Doran. So, apparently... I like how my crosshairs are right in the middle there. Uh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so he sent him in. I gotta do it by myself. Alma Alexia can't do this for me, apparently. I believe it is your call to stop Super Soon. I do not know that he can be reasonable. James Durant. It is possible. If he cannot be, you must end his life. I'm gonna have to kill him. Though the idea saddens me, it is best for Morrowind. And it is best for him as well. That is less important. You have the power to do this. The true flame can kill a god if wielded by one noble intent. Of course. Steal yourself. And do what must be done. I will send you to his clockwork city now, if you are prepared. Good luck, Nerevoli. I need time to prepare. There is not time to waste. Make your preparation quickly. Because any time that they say we're going to transport you somewhere, that quest is probably going to take a while. So, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Morrowind. I've been Balloscoop. I've been joined, as always, by Nerevereen, Thespian, King of the Underworld, James Doran. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.